Hey everybody, there is Weryl here, and welcome back to more of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot, I've been all over this. Hey fun puns, how's it going? Um... No, there's a bunch of stars on the map because I was basically putting a stamp wherever there are shrines. Because I knew there was, well, there's only 16 left, and I just wanted to make sure that I hadn't missed any. And I couldn't, for some reason, I couldn't count all of them correctly, so I just put stamps down, and I'm pretty sure there's 16. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, yeah, there's 16. Okay, cool. Yeah, because the ones I kept missing were these two. I could only ever count up to 14, and I was like, uh, I don't know where the last ones are. By the way, I don't really know what I want to do, uh, this session. <laughs> Like, I'm trying, I'm tackling with the idea, oh, they're world berries, of doing the next Divine Beast, but I might also just explore more of the Tabantha Frontier. Actually, no, just explore the Tabantha Frontier. Last session was the Tabantha Tundra, even though I did call it the Frontier, but whatever. When I say the Tabantha Frontier, I literally just mean this entire area, because there's still all of the Hebrew Mountain and stuff to deal with. But I mean, if I went to do the Divine Beast, then I could just go out of my way to explore everything. I'm not sure. I also know there's a mini game down below. Where the fuck am I going? <laughs> wow! I was wondering, like, where the bloody hell is the bridge? And lo and behold, it's right here. <clears throat> so. Yeah, I know down below there's like a mini, or a golfing mini game. I don't really know if I want to do it. If there was a quest tied to it, well, then you can bet your ass I'd do it, but... <laughs> when, th when there's no quest tied to something, I don't feel obligated to do it. I might do it at some point. I also know that, um... Oh! Speak it, devil! I was actually just about to mention this. Yeah, I was gonna say that Dinral passes by, but I thought that only happened at night time. Uh, in the morning. Or like midday. It's quite strange. Huh. I mean, I may as well, if I can get the horn. I need to just be very careful of the fire. Give me your horn. Oh, I missed. Wow, alright. There we go. I think. A part of the horn. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, where's it going? Holy shite. I'll just fast travel back to the stable. Yeah, that was another thing I did off screen. That was just. I just have a tendency of playing this game because it's fun. Shard of Dinral's horn. The shard chipped and fell off the red spirit Dinral. Its horn is said to be the crystallized power of fire itself. It sells for a high price, but rumors say there's some other uses for it. Or some other use for it. Yeah, I got a bunch of ferocious horn because ferocious is so easy to farm. So this shard fell off the golden spirit. Uh, for Roche, it said the horn is the crystallized power of electricity itself. It's also a lot, but there must be some other use for it. Yeah, it's so simple to actually grind. Essentially, all you have to do is go to... The shrine that's right by the lake. <laughs> I'll, sh I'll show it, because <laughs> I'm really crap at explaining stuff. Why am I crouching? That's weird. There we go. No, it's essentially... Right here. You just... All you have to do is go to the shrine, get up the waterfall, and then camp behind a tree. And then wait until morning, and right as the game loads, Farosh appears. It doesn't even come out of the water, it literally just like fades in. It's very strange. But yeah, I did that off screen because I, I figured I might as well. <laughs> well. I know they're necessary for some upgrades, but I'm not entirely sure what ones. So that's something I should definitely do, is not rely on DLC armor. I think if I just started to upgrade some of my armors, it would be more beneficial. Especially the Ancient set, because I think that's among one of the most powerful armor sets. When it's fully upgraded. At least in the base game. I'm not entirely sure with my um, armor overhaul, though. We shall find out. Right, regardless. Yeah, I think I'll just explore the Tabantha Frontier until I get, like, around the area where the next village is. And then when I get there, I can maybe do the Divine Beast. I know for a fact this one, it wouldn't take long. So, it's hard to decide. 
Right, so... That's what I said, there's only 16 shrines left. Which means three hearts... Oh yeah, three hearts and then one stamina vessel. I forgot, I ended up getting three hearts at the end of the last session because I, I picked up... I think I had 16 spirit orbs. Yeah, I did. Because I got two hearts, a stamina vessel, and then another heart. That's what I'm saying, why is this beeping at me? It's because of a chest. Yeah, I've got it set to... <laughs> Let me know when there's a chest nearby. There's also a shrine nearby too. Yep, somewhere. It's probably down below. Or something. Ooh, so how do I want to deal with the Guardian? Oh great, Yiga! That was easy. I didn't even know I had the <laughs> Master Sword equipped. Well that works. Honestly, I, I don't know. I'm very tempted to just go up to the top of that stone thing. And shoot it from up there. But I also kind of just want to use an ancient... Oh, bollocks. Now or never. Oh my god, I shot five of them. <laughs> Holy crap. It's just so much easier to do that with them. Yeah. <laughs> oh well. Right, so this I know there's two Skywatchers. Oh, right, okay. Ah, oh, the shrine's on top of the ancient columns. Fuck. Forgotten about that. Okay, so I won't be getting to the shrine because it's all the way up there. I don't even know if I picked up any of the shrines when I first came through here. I may have, but I don't remember. Not really. I don't remember climbing any of the pillars. Another one down! We're gonna say another Rakis. Kaboom. There we go, easy. Honestly, the Skywatchers give you so much. It seems they give you the most drops. At least that's that's the way it looks. Yep. Aha! There's the chest. Of course! All that for an opal. Hmm. Another thing I might actually do as well is go back to... Ooh, Back to the Gerudo town, then into the jeweler's shop. I didn't even really think. But she sells all of the different, like, heads, uh, and he said headsets. Like, the different crowns. You have the diamond one. She also sells, like, a ruby one, topaz one, sapphire one. And they give you elemental resistance. So, like, cold resistance and the like. So I just think that might actually be quite useful. Especially if I upgrade them. And upgrading those shouldn't be difficult. Given the fact all you need is the gems. Which I would say I have more than enough for oh fuck. More than enough of. Um There we go. Whew. Ooh, it's getting cold. Can I make it up here? Oh boy. Ah uh, Jump. There we go. Oh there we go, I can see the other chest. It's sunk into ground. Great. Something I don't need. Alright, so I'm gonna get rid of. It's only a 10. Uh. Frost. Ooh. I'll get rid of that. Do I have any other Thunder Blades? No, I don't. Shoot. Royal Broadsword then, sod it. You don't really need to get rid of anything, but. <laughs> Never mind. Durability up! Oh right, I thought there was... okay, that's a stone. I thought it was a chest that was just in the ground. Yeah, like a fool. Okay, I'm actually kind of higher up now, so screw it. I may as well go over to the ancient columns. Yeah, I just kind of like to get stuff as I pass by it, instead of just running straight by it. I only did that once. And that was purely just to get the different towers. So then I had a fully explored map. But aside from that one time, I don't really like doing it. Yeah, because then I, I've covered my bases. I know what I've, like, you know, 
explored and what I've discovered. Oh right. Isn't there just moblins around up here? Is that also the only way you can get up here? Oh nice. Well, there's some fire jelly. There we go. Looks like he's consuming it. Ah. Oh! Nice. Oh boy. Whoops. That's a lot of red chew jelly. Oh god. Oh. Oh, did the other ones burn up? Oh, that's a shame. Oh, they probably did when the other chew decided to attack me. Yeah, more than likely. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, well, never mind. Right, I don't want to use an ancient arrow. Oh. Whoa, look at them blend in. That was not right. That works. Boom. Ready coming down. Oh. Oh god, that's not what I wanted. Woo! <laughs> not really what I wanted to do at all. Oh dear. I didn't want to do that either. Ah! That was entirely accidental. But I'll take it. Oh god. Oof! Set him on fire again. Just keep on doing it. He's got a royal shield. You have got some good stuff. I know I keep setting myself on fire, but whatever. Yeah! Wait. Oh god, I didn't want to do that. I always forget. Royal shield. So is it a goblin that's up there? I definitely heard about goblin. That's a Lizalfos. Oh, another. Silver? Wait, is that one? Oh god, it is another silver. That's a pain. Can I get a sneak strike? I missed. Again! Oops. Oh god. Oh, <laughs> I was being shot from behind too. I kind of just want to hit the TNT. It bounced over him. <laughs> there you go. So what's the robot goblin? Oh, I could have sworn I was being shot from behind. This really doesn't do much. Come on! Poor thing. Just have to keep doing his little dance. Oh no, I'm out of fire. Fuck. Hold on. There we go. My charges are back. I'm just gonna kill it by setting it on fire. Why not? God, the silver Lizalfos really do take a pound in there. Before they eventually die. Yeah! Worth it. I should have really looked to where the other Lizalfos' body was. Oh, never mind. How the hell did that one die? I'm not too sure. I'll take it though. Falcon bow! Another one of those. Uh, what bow am I currently using? Because I've fired a few shots off of this. It's probably fairly damn it. Screw it. Get rid of the falcon bow for the falcon bow. Alright. So what is that? Oh! There was a bow goblin! How did- Oh! God, I forget, keep forgetting. I used their bow's fury. That's how they died. <laughs> more, than, more than likely, it's how it killed both the Lizalfos and the bow goblin. Yeah, if they were only weak ones, then... It does a lot of damage. It does like half health from a Molduga, so... There's that. Right. And yeah, it's, it's just nothing but moblins. I really want to just use the meteor rods so it breaks. Badly damaged. Perfect. 
There's one. Nope. Right, do I have blink one more? There we go. Perfect. Oh boy. <laughs> I just have to keep gliding to try and grab it. Hello. up. There we go. Yeah. And yeah, it broke. Good stuff. What? I was gonna say, that should hit your face. It makes no sense. I do still have that. Uh, get rid of the, Not that. This. Oh. Yeah, screw you. And I win. To be fair, this weapon just reminds me of like a... Sh of a... Is it a chakram? But with a handle. I'm pretty sure they're called chakrams. All I remember is there a weapon in Kingdoms of Amalur. What's over here then? Probably nothing. <laughs> I was right. Wait, so is there another moblin? I could hear something like snoring. Oh, maybe I'm crazy. Wait, was it seriously just one moblin? No way. Oh, there's another one over there. Interesting. No, right, whatever. Yeah, because I came here first to get that memory. I probably should have just got the shrine when I was here. But oh, never mind. So, Taina Kosa. Alright. I assume this is going to be one where I actually have to do something. It won't be as simple as just... Oh, I'm wearing the fucking... Zora tunic. I didn't even notice. Of course I am. I was farming ferocious stuff, wasn't I? In which I had to... Uh, swim up a waterfall. Well, <laughs> never mind. What do we got? Oh, another! Ooh. Oh, this is actually one that has the pillars up, though. I think I prefer the ones that just have the metallic cubes in the ground. They're way, f they're way more fun. Because then you control which one it bumps into. Alright, bring it, you bitch. You have a shield, which is a pain. Why not? Why not? Why not? Did that way too early. What? And way too early. I just can't seem to get the timing down. Oh. That's easy enough. Oh god. Yeah, I managed to get it at least twice. Crap. Oops. Yeah, I must just be jumping way too early. Jumping too late will result in getting hit. I should also re-equip myself. Uh, doesn't really matter. Anything would be fine. But I do think I want to get the, the Guardian stuff up. Yeah, I'll wear that. Yeah, look at me go. I'm one of you! Oh, god, crap. There we go. Be a bit closer this time. I was waiting for that to actually hit me. Yeah! Oh god. Oh, there we go. The one time I thought I was jumping the wrong way, it turned out to actually work. Whoa. Yeah, the timing on that one's way much more of a pain in the ass. Crap. That thing didn't move. Um, to get rid of... Guardian Sword! Oh. Oh no. There we go. Yeah! How are you doing this? Honestly, I should run! Uh, I could actually just... Actually, wait, bomb arrow. That makes more sense. Yeah! Oh god. Woo. I just do it way too early. Oh yeah, whoops. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Is it doing the same one? Yeah, it is. Oh god. Well, it's nice enough to push you away. Not again! 
Oh, now you're doing this. Well, that's fine, because I can kill you. I win! Get rid of that, for that. I want the, the sword plus plus. So, gimme. There we go. Oh, I picked up both. Oh yeah, I broke the meteor rod, didn't I? Duh. That's for Guardian Shield. I have a, wow, alright. I didn't realise my royal shield was so good. Get rid of that. I'm pretty sure the... 53? Yeah, I'm gonna say I'm pretty sure it's better. It does have shield guard plus 11, but... It would it would have been 42 anyway, so it's still better than the knight shield. Only just, but still. Righty ho. That was simple. Ah, fuck. Oh, right, never mind. I must have broken more weapons than I thought. Oh, well, can't complain. Oh yeah, I broke the demon carver. That was it, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, I didn't break the guardian sword. Your hero rises. Do -do -do -do. Oh, we're getting there. Fifteen remain. I'm not going to count down with each single one, but... It's weird how, how few shrines are actually left. It was, it's not like I've blasted through them. This game has taken me forever, but still. It's cool. Alrighty. I may actually be able to finish from the ground up, too. Because the last person I need to get is in the Rito village. It's weird that they don't have a Zora, though. So unless there's more to that quest after we get the, the Rito, I don't know. But either way, I can get the Rito and then continue the rest of the quest and see what else it wants me to do. Which is nice. Oh, you bitch. Shh. Very, very quiet. I'm hunting moblins. Don't turn around. Oh. Well, that didn't work now, did it? You missed. And now you die. He turned around right as I got up, up to him. What a douche. I should really go and find Kilton so then I can turn in. You know, like 90% of the drops I've gotten from stuff. Although I should probably upgrade armor first. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure how this is going to work. But when it comes to the fairies, I'm pretty sure the one that can get everything up to max is the one that's in the desert. In which case, I'll need to unlock the one that's over here. Then go to the desert to do the upgrades. I mean, I could use the one that's here, but... Probably just makes more sense to go to... The one in the desert. Right, well this one's fairly... Obvious. Oh, is that a shri shrine? No, it looks like a pond. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Perfect opportunity! Yeah, I'll use a bomb arrow. Why not? Oh. There goes the Lizelle. Fuck. How did that not hurt me? I fell really far. Oh dear. <laughs> I fell really far. Oops. Whoops. Oh, I was gonna do his yeah, usual bullshit. I'm just going to waste a root's protection, because why not? I don't even intend to use it all. I'm being shot, aren't I? Oh, it hadn't even seen me? Ah, oh, shit. I always forget to change. No, I was... Well, that works. He dropped his weapon. Yeah, screw you! To be fair, I can't wait to do the Champion's Ballad. Mostly because one thing I know... Not because of the Master Cycle, I don't really care about that, to be honest. But, I'm pretty sure doing the, the Champion's Ballad means that the re the regen time for each of the abilities is lowered. And it, I'm pretty sure Aversus Fury is the quickest to regen. Either that or it's direct protection. Can't remember which. But it's as, it can go as low as 40 seconds. Which is crazy. Royal Broadsword. Fuck. It's the only one that's got durability. Oh, that'll work. Kaboom. Yeah. Very useful. Right. 
finding new objective. It won't find any. There are no chests here. I did see like a... I don't know. It looked like it was either a, a spring or one of those slabs. Oh, this is where there's a shrine. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting. I did, I did mark them all with a stamp. Oh. Is this one of those where... Oh, okay. Is it something underneath? Instead of hitting this with stasis, I found out that using octo balloons is way better. Where are they though? There they are. They only have 40. Just stand on the edge of it and piff. And there it goes. Oh. That was easy. Only issue is going to be getting out. So I'm pretty sure the octo balloon will have gone off and that slab will have fallen back down. But it's useful for getting whatever's underneath those slabs instead of trying to smack them away. Well, the slabs are just... For one, they're awkward to hit because they're so... Like, they're not exactly thick. They're pretty thin. And for two, they don't seem to move very far. Yeah, they just seem to do, like, cartwheels in the air and then land right where you... <laughs> um, right where you knock them off. Car okay Okay. The Wind Guide. Oh, okay, it gives me a thing. Oh, it's just a Korok Leaf. I need a Korok Leaf. It's literally a requirement for this. Son of a bitch. Great. Can't wait to use this. Okay. So the Coric Leaf is the the gimmick for this. Oh, okay. I have to move TNT somewhere? Oh. Didn't move it. Well, there's a chest. Oh, there's some stuff down here. Oh god. Oh no, 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 no. I don't want to lose it. Sheesh. Wait, if I hit them with this, would it just insta-kill? Near enough. It's easy enough. And I win. Yeah! Eh, not too shabby. Okay, so what's... Oh, there's another one. Oh dear. I thought I did my two attacks. I must have just not pressed Y the second time. Oh, well, never mind. Well, there's a ladder here. Kind of just want to see if I can jump over to the jet. Je je oh, I can't. Okay. Oh. Can I move this? Oh, yeah. What on earth? This is cool. <laughs> Just don't pop any of the balloons. Oh god, I won't be able to get back on that platform. No, I don't think so. Oh, never mind. Oh, bugger. All the way to the bottom. So... Oh. Alright, just keep doing this. This is quite cool, actually. <laughs> Not sure what to make of it at, fuck, at first. But it's actually quite nice. I like it. You know what? There's a key. Oh. Oh. Oh, that was a Guardian Scout 1. Okay. Hmm. Might as well just see what they add. Amber! And a single rupee. Nice. There we go. God damn, this place is huge. What the? Oh, wait, hang on. Holy balls! Oh, ho ho. Oh. So what the hell's in here? Well, 
Yeah, obviously I'm just gonna throw that. Fall down. Okay. I'm just confused. Holy balls, this one's huge. Ooh, a chest. <laughs> I want it. Oops. Oh no. Oh no. There's spikes. Oh, the balloons can pop. Oh no. Oh god. I won't be able to get back to that. I might be able to. If not, I can just...